Hi, I'm Chad from Logical Gamers here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a DOTS SWF Flash Trainer, which is simple. Alright, what do you want to do after you uh, open up Visual C Sharp .net, get your standard EXE project open, is you want to actually go to the toolbox and right click and click choose all items. When that finally loads, if it ever does load, you want to add the shockwave flash object, which I already have here, but I'm going to show you how to get it. If my thing ever wants to load, do right after this loads, the choose toolbox items. You want to go to com components. And that's going to take forever to load as well. Alright, since I load now, what you want to do is click S and it should take you down to the shockwave flash object, which is, should be the third down. And it should say shockwave flash object. Click it and then click OK. And it should appear in your toolbox. And then you're going to want to put it on your, on your form somewhere. And how oh, that lagged. Anyway, uh, once you put it on, adjust it to the size and whatever you want it as. And I'm going to rename it SWF just so it's easier to call. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is scroll over here in the properties and go to the movie. And after you find a SWF file you want to use, in this case, I'm going to be using the Pac Man as an example. Because I find it really easy to actually kind of hack. What you're going to want to do is put it in here, or you could call it from a button and load different games. But as you see, it's on now. Now, what you're also going to want to do is leave some room for a. Let's put a text box and name it. Where is it at? Text, text. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, you're going to want to name it. I'm just going to name it text variable. So you could input the variable that you want to change. And then I'm going to copy this text box and put another one next to it. So make it text number just so you can change the variable to whatever you want. And then put a button that executes the variable. I'm naming that CMD X. Execute. Execute. That's a Pokemon. Anyway, uh, you're gonna want to just rename it whatever you want. I'm gonna put inject. All right, double click it, and then what you're gonna want to put is in the code for CMD execute is Swift dot set variable and quotations and the string name. The string name is the variable itself, and we're just gonna put text variable because you just can put it in there. The variable is going to be like cash, score, lives, and it's going to usually put like root, dot main, and stuff like that, but we're just going to make it simple. And then you're going to put the string value, which is going to be text number, dot text. I forgot to add dot text. Sorry, guys. And that's about it. And then you just go to here, debug it, and once it loads up, Click. Let's put a level in there to start off with. Let's put 9,000 and 9 because it's over 9,000. And then start the game. Uh, now let's put score. And then put inject and the score changes automatically. <laughs> anyway, that's how you do it. It's really simple. Lives, inject. It's not going to show you lives because it's an icon. But aside from that, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.